Hello little scientists. In this lesson, we are going to be learning about refraction, the bending of light. Have you ever ridden in a car on the highway in the summer and saw what looked like a wet pavement ahead? And when you actually get to the spot, the pavement looks dry. What you have seen is a mirage. People see mirages everywhere from the desert to the Arctic Ocean. Mirages appear because air does not always let light travel in a straight path. When light hits warm air near the ground, the light bends and makes us see something that isn't really there. Have you ever noticed that you walk slower in water? This happens to light too. When light enters water, it not only slows down but also bends at an angle. This bending is called refraction. A good example of refraction is when you see the bottom of a swimming pool. The light travels in such a way that the pool often appears to be shallower than it really is. Light refracts as it passes from one medium to the next because it travels at different speeds through those mediums, since each medium has a different density. Light travels fastest through air, a little slower through water, and even slower through glass. Some transparent and translucent materials or objects also refract light to a greater degree than others. So when light rays pass from one material or medium to another, they may either speed up, slow down, or change direction. Lenses use refraction to help us see things that we normally cannot see with our eyes alone. For example, lenses and binoculars and telescopes help us see objects that are far away. Lenses and magnifying glasses and microscopes help us see very small things. A lens is a transparent object with one or two curved surfaces. It is typically made of glass or clear plastic as in the case of a contact lens. A lens refracts or bends light and forms an image. An image is a copy of an object formed by the refraction of visible light. The more curved the surface of a lens is, the more it refracts the light that passes through it. There are two basic types of lenses, concave lens and convex lens. The two types of lenses have different shapes, so they bend light and form images in different ways. A concave lens is thicker at the edges than it is in the middle. This causes rays of light to diverge or spread out. The light forms a virtual image that is right side up and smaller than the object. A convex lens is thicker in the middle than at the edges. This causes rays of light to converge or to meet at a point. The light forms a real and inverted image depending on the distance of the object from the lens. Investigating how light moves through warm air can be hard to do in a classroom. You can, however, investigate how light bends using water and air. In the next few activities, we will investigate different ways in which light bends and how things look when that happens. experiments demonstrated the bending of light in water. Moving from air to water as we learned earlier bends light. Sometimes the water can act as a lens and produce an image of the real object. This picture here will help you understand what I mean. Fish A at the bottom is the real fish. The light from the sun hits the fish. The light from the fish then travels from the bottom of the pond, through the water, then through the air, into the boy's eyes. You can see this by the red line. Since light travels more slowly in water than in air, as the light enters the air, it bends away from the normal. Therefore, fish A has been bent away from its true position and the false image of the fish B appears to be closer to the surface. 
This is why it is sometimes difficult to catch fish. So that's it for refraction guys. For a full video on all experiments carried out today, please see the links above each experiment. All links can be found in the description box below. Or just click on one of these boxes here. Keep exploring and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!